Great. Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to Sue Ping Hill from Within. Glad to have everybody here. There is such a big interest today in uh, these days in self-care. And that's a really good thing. We should continue to do that because one thing has become really evident that we have to change our approach to health. The quality of our health care has gone down. We have longer lead times to see doctors. Uh, insurers are frustrating practitioners like me and patients. We have less coverage and there's definitely higher out-of-pocket costs. So I think more people are realizing that the best way to manage health care these days is to stay healthy. And that's truly my business. I'm here to help my clients and hopefully help all of you to stay healthy. People love to try new things. They love new you know, technology, new everything. And I'm not like that. I actually love tried and true. And that's why I really love Chinese medicine because anything that has survived and thrived for 4,000 years is something that I'm going to follow. So I'm hoping that what I'm doing is to offer you a really another way to look at your health because Chinese medicine really offers that. Chinese medicine offers an amazing um, uh, techniques and medicine to treat acute situations, but they also have a whole other set of uh, uh, rituals and uh, techniques to provide you self-care. And that's actually one of the things that I'm mostly interested in because for 20 years, I was really the practitioner healing people. And I really want to help people figure out how to uh, heal themselves and keep themselves healthy. So the, the premise of Chinese medicine is that, um, hopefully most of you know by now, that we're connected to everything in the universe. And if you are connected to something, then the best way to live in it is to learn how to balance within it. You know, I was thinking today, it's just like a family, right? I'm sorry, I think, uh, let me just, there's some people, I'm just gonna mute people because I hear some noise coming in. Okay, that's better. I was thinking just like a family, um, you are connected to your family, whether you like it or not. So it's really beneficial to you to learn how to work together as a family. So it's like, you, you're living in this world and might as well figure out how to live in harmony with it. And I'm gonna share with you this, um, picture because there's one system it's called five element and I'm going to share this with you does everybody see this yeah okay um so five element is a is one branch of Chinese medicine and it basically maps out our entire being to patterns in nature because the premise is that since we're a microcosm of this of the world, then we have to try and explain how this microcosm works within us because we're one. And it helps us map out our emotions, our physical body, organs, muscles, and characteristics into elements and patterns of nature. And so I thought today we would talk mostly about the kidney um, because there's been a lot of talk about alopecia and autoimmune. So the kidneys, which rules the hair and our aging process uh, would be a good start. And if you take a look at this, um, at this diagram, you'll see kidneys in blue. Um, the element is water, as you can see over here. And the emotion for kidneys is fear. And the kidneys also stores something called our Jing, which is our inherited energy. And that's like being, can you imagine if you were born and, you were, and somebody gave you a savings account and said, here, I'm giving you all the money in the world from the moment you're born, but it has to last your lifetime. And so instead of money, it's actually energy. So obviously, if it's gonna last us an entire lifetime, we have to conserve it. We have to figure out how to not spend it too quickly. And that's what we have to do with the kidneys. And, um, and right now, one of the things that really depletes our kidneys is stress, but it's really because um, as you can see, fear is one of the emotions that fear drains your kidney energy more than any other emotion. 
So if you're in this constant state of fear, then you're living in a constant state of fight or flight. And that means that you're gonna keep the cortisol in your body for a very long time and that's gonna deplete your adrenals. So if that happens in Chinese medicine, what we're saying is and we're compromising the kidney element, the, the, the water element. And what does that mean? If we're compromising a water element, that means that we don't have enough water in, you know, according to five element to do what it needs to do. And if you look at this, you'll see that the kidneys, there's a direct line into the heart and the heart's in red. Uh, the heart is a fire element and uh, the emotions for heart is joy. And a healthy heart has fire, right? That's just spreading out a lot of joy. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of joy lately in, in, in the world today. But if you think about it, if we don't have enough water, a water quality of the kidneys is compromised. That means that we can't rein in the fire. That means the fire is gonna go a little bit out of control and we don't have enough water to, to dampen it, to douse it. And when we don't have it, that means that our emotions are just gonna go wild, right? Just out of control. And then we're gonna experience the opposite of joy. We're gonna experience a lot of sadness. So if we have a lot of stress in the kidneys, it causes us to not be able to cool down the body. And if our heart is flaming, then that may lead us to some insomnia, heat rising into our head, maybe like really bad headaches, skin rashes, um, as well as autoimmune disease. So what my hope is that what I wanna do is I wanna help us, uh, uh, stop that for a second. I wanna help us understand that we wanna understand our body's language, just like any relationship. The more you understand a relationship or a partner, the more you can take care of it, nurture it and feed this relationship. And that's what Chinese medicine is about. It's getting to know things inside of us how it relates to the world, starting to listen to us. And today, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to listen to our kidneys mostly, but obviously we're gonna have to address the heart because I showed you that there was a relationship between them. Um, and since stress is so prevalent, we need to definitely address the heart, which is so affected by it. And um, so I wanna help us start to hear and understand what our heart and our kidneys are telling us so that we know how to start to address it when it's giving us signs that it's not operating well or we're depleting it so much so that we can pause and rejuvenate. So we're going to do um, some Qigong moves um, and some exercises to uh, calm down the heart. We're gonna get the energy down from the heart and then also build up uh, the kidneys, because the kidneys mostly uh, get deficient. They don't, they don't, it's not an organ that really goes into excess, right? Because it's all the energy we have. So generally we're going to deplete it more than anything. Um, so why don't we get started and let's have everybody stand up. So we wanna stand and get into a nice relaxed position. We wanna, every time we come into a Qigong, we wanna be in a relaxed position. It's very different than exercise where you kinda of wanna pump up. Here, we really wanna be relaxed. And my shoulders are down. Every part of my body's got a nice curve. And the first thing I like to do is I like to take a grounding breath. So that means we're gonna inhale. Feel the energy rise, almost feel it rise to the top of the head. And then on the exhale, we're gonna slowly allow that chi energy to go through us, go through to our bottom of our feet and ground us. And you'll notice in my Qigong is that that chi that I'm breathing in, I don't let it leave so quickly. I let it fill me and let it go through. And I feel the connection with my earth. And now I just go down, bend, create this energy ball. And then as I exhale, I surround myself in this amazing energy. 
And again, because I live in harmony with everybody else, we're gonna rearrange, inhale, lift it up, and then exhale. I'm harmonizing my energy with all of you and everybody surrounding the universe. Keep your hands open, go into that receiving position. And now it's the end of the day. Let's do a light bounce. Let's bounce from our knees. Our feet are grounded, kind of loosen things up. Here, I'm almost feeling as if the energy is going from my head down to my shoulders. Everything's dropping. It's kind of like little rain droplets, chi droplets going through my body. And lift up your shoulders up and down. There's an area that a lot of people get tension. And turn, slight twisting. I do want to say that anytime we do any Qigong together, if anything feels uncomfortable, don't do it. Please modify. You can always sit and do Qigong as well. Let's raise our hands up, let our wrists, our hands dangle. Go to the sides. Go down. And out. Okay. In between transitions, I always like to take a moment to feel the sensations going on in my body. Start to listen. This is where you're listening and feeling ability starts to come in. We want to get out of our head. We want to really get out of our head and start feeling what's going on in our body. A little tingling sensation. And the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to do a little bit of a stretch to open up the channels to... Um, uh, activate our kidneys. So one of the things I'd like to do is let's do a side stress first, right? Let's inhale and let's just, as if my hand is reaching all the way to the other side, I'm opening up this whole side channel and then exhale, come back to neutral and the exhale, let that energy fill up the area you just stretched. So it again, right? Inhale, Pull the energy in. I feel the stretch all the way as if my pinky's being pulled to the other side. And then exhale and I fill up this channel. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And again, let's do the other side. Inhale, go across. I feel it from the, my toe all the way to the end of my finger as if there was one line. And then exhale and fill up that energy. Inhale, open. I'm opening up the meridian. I'm thinking meridian and channel as opposed to muscle. So imagine there's a, a line from the tip of your pinky down to the toe, one line as you inhale. You're stretching that channel. And then exhale, let it fill. And now what I'd like to do is let's go right to the kidney area. The kidneys are right underneath your rib. There's usually a space in between your, um, your waist and your rib. Go right there in the back and just massage it. Inhale as you dig in, let's go to the right side, dig into that and then alternate. Don't do it too hard because there's not much protecting that kidney. 
where she feel like you're kneading dough almost, right? Just knead go from one side to the next. Go into it and then down. Okay, bring it down. Actually, I'd like to do another stretch that opens up our, uh, there's one meridian that actually goes horizontal, the daimai. Really important meridian because if this is too tight, it's like having a really tight belt and that'll cut off the circulation to your kidneys. So instead of stretching to the other side room, we're gonna, we're gonna take it and we're gonna stretch our, our arm out almost at like a 45 degree. Instead of going all the way to the other side, we're gonna stretch our hands obliquely to the other side of the room. And you should feel it almost open up a little bit in here. See, instead of going up, I'm going across this way and then Do it again, inhale, go across. Would be like at one or two o'clock if it's my, your left arm or maybe 10, 11 with the other arm. And again, inhale. And here I'm really feeling the energy opening up into my kidneys. And let's do it again. Ready? Go to the other side. Inhale. Again, either at 10 or 11 o'clock or one or two, depending on which arm it is. And again, inhale. Remember, open up that channel. And opened up our size, we've opened up our waist. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to start to release some of the energy from our heart. Because if our heart's on fire, we want to clear some of that energy, we're going to do it with a sound called the ha sound, H-A. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale Breathe in, feel it going into your chest, and then go, ah. Allow that ha sound to reverberate, open up your chest, spread out that fire, spread out that fire energy. Ready, inhale. Concave, bring that breath into your chest. And then use that breath to ah. feel it spread out over your arms, even to the back. Again, inhale through the nose and then release. Ah. Release some of that fire. Again, inhale. And exhale. Ah. As you do this for a while, you can actually feel that reverberation of that ah down to your toes. One last one, inhale, bring it in and ah. 
Let's just put our hands in prayer position right by our chest. And just feel how open our chest feels with all that heat in that chest being released. Okay, now let's open up our kidney channels, our kidneys. There's a point right at the bottom of the sole of your feet, kidney one, Yongchen. And it matches the point right at the palm of your hands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up and shake up those kidneys, wake them up. We're gonna inhale and go on your tippy toes and we're gonna drop. <sighs> and do this to your ability. We want that uh, sound to jar up those kidneys. Again, inhale, go to your tippy toes. <clears throat> you don't have to go as low as I do. You don't have good knees, don't do it. If you don't have good knees, you can go. <sighs> it really drops into your the heel. Inhale. <clears throat> We want to feel that reverberation in the back. You think about it, when somebody's in a lot of fear, what do you have to do? You have to shake them up to get them out of it. You need to be really strong. That's what we have to do with the kidneys. Again, inhale. <clears throat> Two more times, inhale, tippy toes. And again. I notice my, the palm of my hands are level, parallel to the ground, just like my feet. And take a few moments to feel the sensation going on in your body. And the kidneys likes to be warm. The season for the kidneys is winter. That means we really have to keep that furnace nice and warm to get us through the winter. So a great way to warm up your kidneys. It's actually what I teach a lot of my fertility clients because we address the kidneys quite a bit. As you rub your hands a hundred times back and forth like you're starting a fire. Feel the heat building up in the palm of your hands. Where our heart is. It's nice and warm. And now we're going to take it and put it right into your kidneys. And let's, as we inhale, Connect to the kidneys, breathe into the kidneys. And then on the exhale, feel the energy spread. Enlarge your kidneys. Actually, as you inhale, feel the energy going from your hands into the kidneys. And then on the exhale, all that energy you've just absorbed, let it sit and fill up your kidneys. Again, inhale, extract all the energy from the palm of your hands into the kidneys. 
and then exhale. Let that energy fill up. Let's do that one more time with our hands. Get it nice and warm. And now it's placed in the back. Inhale. Feel the energy sucking it right into the kidneys. And remember the exhale. Allow that energy to just breathe in to fill. Continue. Inhale, extracting more warmth. And exhale. It should feel so comforting, like a glass of milk with Oreos. And inhale. And let it fill. Let's do that one more time. It's again. Get that heat. My kidney still feels like I have my hands on it. I still feel the warmth. And again, place it, inhale. Extract the heat from your hands into your kidneys. Uh, and then on the exhale, feel it filling up. If you don't feel it filling up yet, that's okay. That takes practice. Just connect to the warmth of the inhale and then let it fill. It's like we breathe in the air, we breathe in the heat. And then we just want to let it expand. It's kind of like after you eat, you've done the work, you've swallowed. And then we just let it digest. Let the kidneys. Okay. Place our arms down the side. Place it on your lower dantian. Your hands, one hand on top of the other, interlock your thumbs if you'd like. And just experience the fullness and the beauty. Hopefully how calm your body is. And I like to end by saying, I am Chi, Chi is me. And now let's close and recreate our energy ball. Inhale and then spread out, surround ourselves with this great energy that we just cultivated. And let's rearrange. Inhale and exhale three times. Okay. Does anybody have any questions before we end? Thanks all for joining us. 
Any comments? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you all for joining me and, um, and have a lovely evening. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sue. That was great. Very relaxing. Wonderful. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Sue.